So today's video is on why we must, absolutely must, understand and believe that it's possible that we end world hunger. So the reason I'm doing this video is because on different ones I've done about how beliefs create our own reality. Do beliefs create our own life experience? So knowing this then really gives us the ability to apply it in different ways, different modalities in life. So first off, let's understand it at a microcosm level, then we'll understand it at a macrocosm level. So this idea then is that at a microcosm level, our beliefs, what we believe to be true about ourselves, is always being projected because we understand that action is synonymous with belief. Meaning that if we believe something is possible, we're more likely to take the action to do it because it's something that we give credit to because we believe it's something that could actually come to pass. Now this idea then is that if you see that there's anything in your life that you're not attaining or there's some level of procrastination there, it's one of two reasons. The first reason is because at some level there must be an unconscious belief there that says that it's not something that's possible or probable. Now at the second level, the second thing it may be is that you're simply not making it compelling enough for you to actually take action with what it is in the beginning anyways. So this idea then is that at a microcosm level we realize that this is applied in our own own life and that we can use it to then understand how we can change the way that we think to change the reality that we get. Now at a different level, we understand that it can happen at a, micro, at a macrocosm level. So this idea then is that at a macrocosm level, at the idea of society itself, we project ideas as a society, there's a common belief that it is necessary to have uh, world hunger or to have some level of famine because how do we know this? Well, we know it because it simply exists in our planetary society. So this idea then is that we acknowledge that that belief is there and that the more people that come to understand that there are other probabilities and other possibilities towards curing this kind of uh, this understanding and it, it out it's an outdated belief, really, what is what it is. It's something that's been perpetuated time and time again because we believe that that's what is okay. And the reason we know that is because it, it exists and we let it be okay at a society level. Now understanding that we understand that that's just a limiting belief, that it's outdated, what we can then do is spread the idea that there are other alternatives towards getting where we want to be as a society. What the UN has estimated is the UN has estimated that it would cost about 30 billion dollars per year to feed the planet. Now this may seem like quite a bit of money but if we consider the idea that the US last this year's budget alone on the defense uh, defense and warfare is 601 billion, it then becomes apparent that it's a very small percentage in comparison to where the allocation of money is going anyways. So this idea then is understanding that there are ways to uh, facilitate and have the money towards applying uh, abundance for all people, or not even just abundance, but the idea of the bare necessities. Now, the other part of this, the other reason that we must believe that it is possible is because when you understand that when people remain in a survival mechanism, when they are constantly worried about where their food is, they remain in a level where they're just in survival mode. They're not able to actually thrive, they're just coping with their own experience. So the more that we become aware of the fact and the idea that we are helping other people evolve themselves, we are then making the plan it better as a society because then they're able to actually get out of the mode of thinking of limitation. A lot of times when there becomes such a level of limitation they don't even have the bare necessities, there could be things like violence or theft and other things that are of that consciousness thinking. So the idea is that the more people that raise to the occasion and spread this information, spread the idea that there are other probabilities and possibilities for ending world hunger, the more that we will actually really begin to believe it and then as we believe it we will then see a different reality in itself. So this idea is that we have the power to understand this. It begins with you. It begins with you understanding that there are other possibilities and spreading this information. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share, like, or subscribe below and you guys have a great day. Thank you.